Okay, full disclosure here. Some days my watch is my motivation to come to the yoga mat. And today I see that I need a little bit more time in my practice. What I've found recently is at dinner time conversation, we're talking about have we finished our, have we completed our circles for exercise and movement and standing for the day? And as silly as it seems, this has become a motivating factor to ensure that I get my time on the yoga mat. Let's begin in a very quick practice. We'll start in Downward Facing Dog. Just pedal your legs in a way that brings your awareness to your back body, to your breath. Come to a place of stillness in the pose before reaching your right leg in the air, lift it high. Bend your right knee. Step your right foot right between your hands. Inhale, take your arms up. Take the hands wide apart, look up. Exhale, take your hands down. Step your right foot back. Inhale. Inhale, take your left leg up, bend your left knee, step your left foot right between your hands, slowly rise up with the hands nice and wide apart, the back leg strong, your gaze lifted, you receive the fullness of your breath, release your hands down. Step your back foot forward. Place your hands to your low back. Hug your elbows in and rise up slowly to a standing position. Step your feet nice and wide. Turn your right toes out. Bend your right knee. Place your forearm to the top of the thigh. Reach your left arm up and over. Let the front thigh just soften even more as you turn your underside ribs up, your gaze up, root down to inhale, lift yourself out of the pose to come to the opposite side. Turn your left toes out, bend your left knee, Take your left forearm down, reach your left arm up and over your head. Soften the front thigh. Keep your back leg strong, fully rooted. Root down to inhale. Rise up out of the pose. Exhale, release your hands. Step your feet hip distance apart. Let's balance on one leg with your right leg very firmly grounded. Lift your left leg up, park your left foot, spread your wings, the branches of your tree, just to open up really nicely in your tree pose. Keep a nice steadiness on the standing leg, a nice ease in your breath, fullness in the heart. Slowly release your hands down, release your foot down. As you get steadiness to the left leg, lift your right leg up, park your foot to the inner thigh, inhale, reach your arms up to find the balance and the fullness of your tree pose, Brikshasana. Keep a nice fullness to your breath. And slowly release your hands down and your foot down 
come to a wide stance. Come to the back edge of the mat as you turn your right toes out. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, come to triangle pose. Take the lifted arm to your waist. Look down, bend your knee. Step your back foot slightly forward before lifting up to come to another balanced pose. This time with the use of the hand and the standing leg, you find fullness in your pose, in your Ardha Chandrasana. Get this nice fullness of the expression. Maybe you can even take your gaze up toward the sky. And as gracefully as you came into the pose, reach your back foot way back as you come back to the triangle pose we were in to root down and rise up. Release your hands and come to the opposite edge of your mat. Turn your left toes out. Lift your arms up with steadiness in the back leg. Come to triangle pose again. Bend your front knee. Look down. Step the back foot forward so that you've got steadiness before lifting up the back leg. Open your pose really nicely by reaching your arm up. Maybe you can reach your gaze up as well. Keeping the steadiness. Nice firmness in the standing leg. Slowly come out of your pose. Reach back. Find triangle pose again. Root down to lift yourself up. Exhale, release. Come to a seated pose through Malasana. So step your feet hip distance apart or wider. Malasana is a squat pose. So bend your knees. See about reaching the pelvis down. Getting a nice stretch in the pose here. And slowly find your way to sit. When you're in that seated pose, place your feet together in this prayer pose. In Baddha Kanasana, draw your heart forward, lift your chin, draw slightly forward in a forward fold. Inhale, rise up, do a twist toward the left leg. As you reach your left arm up, reach up and over. For a nice stretch to the side body. Inhale, rise up. Place both hands at the shin bones. Maybe you can take your feet a little bit closer to the pelvis with the heart lifted. Exhale, draw forward. Inhale, lift up. Twist by taking your left hand to the right shin bone. Take your right arm up, spread your fingers as you draw the left ribs toward the side. Reach the right arm over. Keep your sit bones nice and firmly rooted. Inhale to come out of the pose. Now come to lying down on your back. With your knees bent, with your feet nice and wide apart, with your arms out to the side, slowly draw the knees over to the right side. Inhale, lift the knees up. Exhale, draw your knees to the left side. Inhale, lift the knees up. Straighten your left leg 
place your right foot to the top of the thigh with the left hand to the outer thigh. Come to a nice twist. Keep your right shoulder planted. Inhale, lift your knee up, straighten the leg, bend your left leg. Take your right hand to the outer thigh, outer knee area while the left shoulder stays on the mat. Come out of the twist with your knees bent, with both feet planted, press your elbows down, lift your pelvis high, invite your breath to expand the front body. Nice full in breath and out breath. In the practice, in this short practice, we were able to move the spine, forward bend, back bend, in lateral stretches, twisting to the right and twisting to the left and axial elongation. So just in a very few poses, in a few minutes, we were able to complete our practice cycle and complete all the movements of the spine. You can release your arms and extend your legs and close your eyes to enjoy your breath. to enjoy the stability to restore, to rejuvenate and to bask in the afterglow of the practice. Breathe in deep and out long. You breathe in deep and out long. Breathe in deep and out long. And as you're ready, you can slowly make your way out of the pose by bending your knees Drawing over to your side with very little movement of your legs and the support of your arms. Lift yourself up to honor our practice. To honor that which motivates us to come to the mat, to honor the teachings, to the practice and to these teachings, we bow. Namaste.